Hello friends, what's up? Welcome in the world of Maths by Amin. In this learning concept video, we titled it Inequalities and Integral Solution. If we have a function, say fx or y is x minus 1, we are not talking about it is linear so a straight line. Just we want the root of this one is nothing but x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is 1, 1 root. So we plot x is equal to 1 root. What is the sign of x? x is a positive sign, so extreme right should be positive and the next bracket should be negative. So any value of x more than 1, this function would be positive. Any value of x less than 1, this function should be negative. Now work for a function which has two roots. Say our function is fx equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. So our first root is x equal to 1 when this one is 0 and second root is minus 3 when this one is 0. Now we need to plot these two roots on a number line minus 3 and 1 that is in the ascending order. What is the product of x? The product of x is nothing but the exact sign of x. x is plus than plus the product is plus so extreme right should be positive. Next bracket should be negative then again is positive. What I am doing is I am plotting the roots and the sign of x, the complete sign of x should be always be in the right, that is the positive, then negative, then positive. For this, we have one condition, one root comes exactly once. If it comes twice, then there will be some slight change. But for this concept video, what we are doing is one root comes only once. So this is our things. If we have three roots, say our function is fx is equal to x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3 and our roots are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. We plot roots as a minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 as a ascending orders. That is positive, positive, positive. 3 positive product is positive. So this is nothing but positive, negative, positive, negative. I hope it is clear. For the four roots, say if we have roots are 1, 2, 3, 4 and the all signs is positive, then this becomes positive, negative, positive, negative and positive. Now we need to learn and analyze one condition. If we want function fx as a positive, then our one bracket is more than the extreme right roots or more than the latest root. So for function positive, there are how many x if we need to find for a condition? If all x are positive, then for the positive x we have infinite value of x possible because we have infinite value in the all cases if we consider the right hand side. If we want function as a negative and if we have one roots then negative is also infinite. If we have three roots negative is also infinite because the extreme left should have all negative outcomes. I hope it is clear. For the positive roots the fx is always infinite if we have the product of all x is positive. For the fx negative function should be negative. We again have the infinite solutions if we have odd number of roots. I hope it is clear. We have one roots, negative infinite is the extreme left. If you have three roots, negative infinite are the extreme left. But if we have even number of roots, say we have two roots, then we have nothing but a negative finite bundle. In this case, we have, even in this case, we have negative finite bundle, that is bundle from one to two, bundle from three to four, rest are positive, positive, positive. So if we have even number of roots, and the total of x is positive, then the fx negative has finite solutions. I hope this will happen. Again repeating, if we are looking for fx positive and some product of all x is positive, we have infinite solutions. And if we are looking for fx negative and our roots are odd in numbers, then we should again have infinite solutions. But if we want fx negative and we have even number of roots and the complete product is positive, that it means we have finite solution. We can find how many x are there for this condition. And we are working on integral x. I hope it is clear. Now understand the concept with an example, with a practice question. We have question. If our fx is x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 4, then for how many integral x fx is positive and how many integral x fx is negative? Now we need to check few things. That is positive, 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 positive. Product of all x is positive means extreme x. That is the power of x raised to power 4 is positive. If x raised to power 4 is positive, then fx greater than 0 have infinite solutions. So for this, the answer is infinite. If this complete is positive, then fx x has infinite solutions.
because we can get infinite number of integral values of x in the right hand side of the plot. Now, how many roots are there? There is one root, two roots, three roots, and four roots. There are four roots, and we are looking for fx negative. Yes, then we have finite solution for this. If we are looking for integral values, first of all, we plot the roots. The root for this is minus one. This one is plus two. Becomes zero. Becomes zero. X plus three becomes zero. That is nothing but minus three. X minus four becomes zero. That is nothing but four. To plot roots in ascending order, the smallest is minus three. Then minus one, then two, then four. We plotted all the roots, and we know extreme is positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then positive, and we want negative. So we are working in this bracket and this bracket. How many integral values between two and three? We have only one integral value between two and three. That is nothing but plus three. How many values of minus three and minus one are integral? That is minus two. So we have only one integral value. So we can say. The total integral value for the fx negative is nothing but two. One is plus three, one is minus two. I hope this is clear. Now, the most important concept you should learn is if our required bracket is equally divided, then we can find it directly. What do you mean by equally divided? Can you say two and four? Our required bracket is the minus two, minus one, and minus one. Two and four gap is of two. Minus three and minus one gap is of two. Can you say? We just find the roots in one bracket and multiply the number of zones to get our answer. Here we have only one integral value in one zone, and all zones are equally divided, and we have only two such zones. So our answer is one into two. Two is the number of zones. Total integral solution is nothing but two. I hope this clear. So our first concept was how we plot the graph. That's very curve math. Plus minus plus minus with condition, and the condition is roots should come only once. There's no repetition of roots. Second one is If roots are equally divided or equally distributed, then we can find our required result. Then multiply number of zones. I hope this is clear. Now the second, now the last most important concept is we have four number of roots. Then our required zones is nothing but two. If you have four roots, then our required zone is nothing but four divided by two. If you have six roots, then required zone is three. If you have eight roots, then required zones are four, and so on. I hope this is clear. Now solve a question. Question is in front of you. F x is x minus one, x plus five, x minus nine, till x plus sixty one. We need to find total number of integral solutions. Now for f x negative, we need to check can we get finite integral solutions or infinite integral solutions. We need to find how many roots that is one five nine terms is nothing but the last term minus first term divided by common difference plus one. That is sixty. One minus one is sixty divided by four is nothing but fifteen plus one. That is 16. So we have 16 roots, and all roots are different. We just learned we have 16 roots. So the required negative zones is nothing but 16 by 2. That is 8. We have 8 required zones, and if now we can say the gap is always 4. So all roots are equally distributed. We can find roots on the required value of x for one zone, and multiply by x, we will get our answer. Now we need to find required value of x in one zone. And consecutive roots are minus one for the minus one. We have x minus one zero is one as a roots. X minus nine as a plus nine as a roots. I am not considering this as a consecutive because it will give minus five as a roots. One and nine are the consecutive roots, and from one and nine we cannot take one and nine because for the one and nine this becomes zero. So we start from two to eight. We'll get all negatives. From the two to eight we have seven values. For the one zone, we have seven values. For the eight zone, we have seven into eight, means fifty-six values. So our answer is fifty-six for this question. I hope this year. I am again repeating. First of all, we check f x negative is infinite or finite. Everything is positive, so f x positive is always infinite. <clears throat> Then we find how many roots for this. We have sixteen roots, so f x negative would be finite. For the sixteen, we have required zones are eight. For the one zones from the one to nine, we have seven integral x. For the eight zones, we have fifty-six integral x. I hope this is clear. For better understanding, solve another question. Our last question of this concept video is: f x is x plus one, x minus two, x plus three, x minus four, till x minus ninety-eight. The for how many integral x f x is negative? First of all, we need to check f x negative is infinite or finite. The total number of roots in this is from starting from one to ninety-eight, means there are ninety-eight. Integral roots, 98 is even number, so we can get f x finite. 
If we have 98 integral roots, so can we say divided by 2 is 49 joules where our fx should be negative. Why 49 joules? Because all are equally distributed. Now we need to find our required x only for the one zone. So see, minus 1 for this and this one is minus 3. For the minus 1 and minus 3 are required values only the minus 2. Why I am not taking this as a conjugative roots? Because this will be plus minus 1, plus 2 and minus 3 are not the conjugative roots. So we work for the minus 1 and minus 3. We have only one value as a minus 1. For the one zone, we have only one roots. For the 49 required zones, we have 1 into 49 means 49 required x. So our answer is 49. This question is not created by me. This is sent by you. I have taken this question from the request form. If you have any question, if you want a concept video on that, please fill the form. I hope this concept video would help you to solve these type of questions. In this concept video, there are few conditions. We are working under that few conditions. But if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me.